Okay, I got the QB78 here. That's what you guys are looking at right now. That rifle in the background. QB78 Deluxe. Uh, I wanted to show you uh, my best performing pellet so far at 15 yards that I'm having luck with and it's the Air Arms 10.34 grain. Uh, actually JSB sells uh, 10.34 grain pellets also and they pretty much look the same. Uh, this is 60 shots and these are 5 shot groups. So 5 shot groups for a total of 60 shots for the two CO2s. So what I do when I do this kind of test is I peel off these quarter inch dots right here and these are my aim points for 15 yards. So if you notice quarter inch dots like right here and right here, that's not part of the group, that's actually just my aim point. So um, when you're looking at the groups, just forget about the black dot. Just focus more on the shot placements here. So let me get my light shine down a little bit better on this. And I want to show you um, what's going on here with the shot groups. Okay, so I'm going to take this dime. And as you notice that a lot of these uh, five shot groups fall about half dime size. Some of them are about a dime. So I'm just going to slide it over so you can see what it looks like. So having this accuracy at 15 yards, if it falls, you know, right around a dime or a half a dime, what that translates to is you have a good chance of getting maybe one inch groups at 25 yards or under. So depending on, um, you know, the pellet and how its velocity and other factors handle at that distance. But uh, typically I found out that indoors, if I can shoot a dime or under, I can always shoot maybe three-fourths of an inch groups or maybe better, you know, at 25 yards for five shot groups. And of course you got your scope and, you know, a lot of different factors. And then the rifle too. But there we go. So we got 60 shots. Now um, after about 60 shots it starts to get kind of tired and you know, accuracy falls off and stuff like that. But uh, according to this uh, piece of paper here with this particular pellet on, on two fresh new CO2s with the bolt probe kit that was installed right on here that gives you the, the sharp pointed bolt probe. And then also you get the, the better seal, the wider seal that allows for more airflow right here which is basically, I found out all it is, is uh, just basically tubing that was cut um, cut about that thick and they just throw that in there you know to uh, allow for more air so that's your replacement seal right there but anyway if you would have the other bolt kit which comes you know stock with this rifle QB78 Deluxe stock um, the bolt would be exactly the same size of this tray whereas this bolt right here if you look at it it's really thin and pointy it's a probe so I like that much better so not not just because of the velocity I just kinda like having that probe there but uh, anyway um, having that bolt probe put in um, you do lose a little bit of shots but not much you know say like say like this is 60 shots if you had it uh, a QB78 Deluxe scent stock, I would I would guess that you'd probably get maybe 70 good shots or more out of two CO2s. So it's really a lot of fun uh, to shoot this rifle because the factory trigger is set at uh, two pounds one ounce, so it's got a really really light trigger on it. So and uh, it's not bad for a CO2 rifle. You know, there's some rifles. Uh, that I have that will outperform this QC, QB78 that actually have harder trigger pulls but for a CO2 rifle uh, this isn't too bad of uh, groups and stuff so and I still got a lot of different pellets to go through anyway but 
Hope you enjoyed the video, you guys.